Once upon a time, there lived an old man and his wife. Although they were happy together, the old couple wished for a child. Dear, Dear God, God, please, please bring, bring us, us a child. child. Any, Any child, child will, will do. do. We will, we will love, love and cherish, and cherish it. it. Each day, the old man and old woman prayed for a child. <coughs> then one day, their wish came true. A baby was born to the old couple. It was a tiny little boy, as big as a thumb. Oh, what a cute little, little baby boy. Indeed, God has blessed us, my husband. He's lovely. So they named their cute little son Inch Boy. Soon he grew and could play around outside. He was a healthy child. But because he was so small, Inch Boy couldn't play with the other children in the village. He sure eats a lot. Why doesn't he grow any bigger? Well, he seems healthy enough. You just let him be. <laughs> I wonder if he will be happy with his life. Then one day... Mother! Father! I have a request! Why, Inch Boy? What on earth could it be? Please let me go to the city. I want to see the whole world, learn important things, and become a really great man. The city is so far away. Who knows how long it'll take you to get there as you're so small. Don't worry, don't worry. I just have to go down river to get to the city. A little bird told me. That may be well, my boy, but you know. All right. You may do as you wish. When you become great, come back and see us. Yes, sir. The day to set off arrived. Inch Boy put a sewing needle in a scabbard for his sword, and with a bowl for a boat and chopsticks for oars, he set off for the city. Oh, please be careful. I will. I'll be back. Dear Take Inch care Boy, of yourself. Be careful. Inch Boy happily set off down the river. Some days it rained. Some days the wild wind blew. Some days he faced danger. But Inch Boy kept going down the river. Until one day he saw a large bridge up ahead. He had finally arrived at the city. Wow! So many people! This is nothing like my home village! Pinch Boy slipped past the many feet, taking care not to be trampled as he walked along the busy street. First I must find someone important. As he was walking along, he came to a huge palace. It was the mansion of a high-ranking government minister. Hello? Please open the door! Hmm? That's strange. There's no one here. Here I am. What? Down here. My name is Inch Boy. Please take me to the master of the house. Inch Boy, huh? What an unusual boy you are. Come this way, please. Oh, my. The servant was very surprised, and he took Inch Boy to meet the minister. The minister had also never seen such a tiny person before. He stared at Inch Boy. Small, but I assure you, I can work just as hard as anyone else. Please, please let me study here. Hmm, you are small indeed, but you seem to have big ambitions. <laughs> the minister took a liking to Inch Boy and gave him a place in the palace. Inch Boy worked with all his might. He learned how to read and write. He studied sword fighting. The minister's daughter was a princess. She adored Inch Boy and always kept him by her side and taught him poetry. Many years passed by. Although Inch Boy never grew any larger, he became one of the minister's most trusted servants. Then one fine spring day, the princess 
decided to visit the Canon Temple at Kiyomitsu. Enchboy accompanied her. After they'd paid their respects and were walking back down the long stone steps, suddenly the sky turned black. An evil wind began to blow. What's with the wind? The princess looked up and saw two terrible demons swinging iron clubs perched on the roof of the temple. Demons! The demons have come! <laughs> for the lovely princess. Hand her over. Who's gonna make us? Go, go, go away, you are the demons! Go away! <clears throat> what a bunch of cowards. <clears throat> what a bunch of cowards. Stop! Hmm? I won't let you lay a finger on the princess! Oh. Did you say something? What's a little pipsqueak like you gonna do to stop us? <laughs> that tiny little girl thought she could fight us. What a joke! Inchboy was stabbing the demon from inside with his needle. Stop! Take that! Oh, that hurts! The demon couldn't stand the pain, and pretty soon he threw Inchboy up. a very special magical mallet. One swing of that mallet and your wish will be granted. Inch boy, now what do you wish for? Well, if my wish will come true, I wish to be big. Inch boy, grow. Inch boy, grow. Grow, grow now. Wow. Before her very eyes, Inchboy grew into a strapping, handsome young man. Now that he was big, he worked even harder than ever before. He became a great man who was respected by all those around him. The minister was delighted and asked him to take the princess's hand in marriage. Soon after, he and the princess went to the village where he was born to see the old man and his wife. He invited them to come to the city, and they all lived happily ever after. 